Desi remembered some years ago when he'd been walking along the Rue de Rivoli one evening. He'd come across a young scamp of 16 or so, sucking hard at a cigarette, the paper of which had burst where bits of coarse tobacco were poking through. Ah, oh, shucks. Darn it. Come on, light. Not one of them would light, and soon he was out of matches. He caught sight of Desi, who was standing, watching him. Got a light? Have some of my scented dubekis, and tell me the story of your life. Name's August, sir. I work over at the cardboard factory. Uh, my mom's dead, and my father beats me up, but I have a pet cat named Lucille, and... Nothing could have been I, more uh... banal. Come, have a drink. Okay, thanks, mister. Look here, aren't you like a bit of fun tonight? I'll pay, of course. Yes, sir. And he took the boy off to a fine establishment on the third floor of a house in the Rue Mosnier, where a certain Madame Laure kept an assortment of pretty girls in a series of crimson cubicles furnished with circular mirrors, couches, and wash basins. Good evening. I am Madame Laure. How can I help you? Isn't he sweet? What a duck. But you're quite dirty. Let's make you a bath. Shucks. I didn't know I was all like that. Don't be so scared, stupid. Get cleaned up. Uh, and when you're through, uh, have whatever you like. But remember, this one is on me. Gotta run. I gotta be up early for the cardboard factory tomorrow morning. Where are you going? Uh, Buddy, 